What's up freaks, David here with Bubba's Living Emporium and today we're gonna go and put together a whole fun video for you guys. We have a customer unboxing, we have an unboxing for ourselves and we're gonna do a room tour. We're gonna show you guys a glimpse of everything that we do on a daily basis. We're gonna do some feeding videos and we'll just show you guys everything, a fun packed video. So um, right now I'm in my backyard, sunny Southern California. We got the whole hop wall over here for the beer that we brew. Back here, we got the chicky doo doos. Give me the babies. <laughs> that was their call since they were babies. They're probably thinking they're gonna get some blueberries, but not today. Chicken hen. Oh, I mean, <laughs> just their coop. Uh, that's where we have our eggs. Big old avocado tree. See if we got any eggs for you guys today. Bam! Good job, guys. Keep it up the good work. I'm gonna scramble them. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take it back inside and get it all underway. What's up, you guys? Dave here with Bubba's Living Emporium. Uh, today we got a shipment in from Chad Ramsey at Ramsey's Reptiles. Um, we did a little trade. I sent him uh, Nefarious Vertebralis, the rough knobtail gecko. And um, I pay, I was paying towards these two geckos right here, but then we just did the remainder of the balance of these two geckos and oh man, was it a sweet deal. Um, I'll go ahead and start unboxing this while I talk, but basically um, we started talking. I liked his animals. I saw him on Morph Market. I didn't realize who he was. But then um, I realized it was like Chad Ramsey from Ramsey's Reptiles as soon as I messaged him on Facebook. And honestly, it couldn't have been a better deal. Um, this right here that you see rolling around is a female giant snow Diablo Blanco. Extremely beautiful. Um, Chad's been working with leopard geckos for around like 10 years now, breeding them. And it's quality stuff. As you'll see, this next gecko is gonna be completely bonkers. I'll go ahead and let them chill out while I'm unboxing this other one. And then I'll go ahead and go hands-on and show you guys these amazing geckos up, per up and personal. This right here is the Pacific Green and uh, Blood Tangerine. extremely orange and to think this one's only three months old it's still gonna develop Chad was telling me it's probably one of the best he's ever produced and it's yeah definitely by far honestly it's gorgeous stunning animals uh, quality lines solid genetics um, going and buying from Chad and Ramsey's reptiles is the best decision you can make if you're trying to get into this hobby and you need solid lines. This male has no heads and that's been proven out over, I think he was saying seven years. He's tried proving it, test breeding it. Um, that's what goes into a lot of these prices that you, you see going around. Um, that's a lot of time. And seven years test breeding something for something to come out this beautiful is well worth it, I think. Extremely dark. Let's see if I can bring up some of this brightness. Dude's a beauty. He'll probably get uh, more of a carrot tail going almost to the tip of his tail as he gets older. Under his chin, it's a little orange, um, even going all the way down to his belly. Stunning little guy. Chad went above and beyond with this. This is the female giant Diablo Blanco. She's a month older than this guy. And whoop, there you go. There's a size comparison. And this is a size comparison for Diablo Blancos. This male is around four months old. And this one is only three months old and this is a female. So he should be bigger, but with a giant gene at play, you can kind of see a difference here. 
And um, also when you mix in that snow, see how she's pretty much solid white. You'll see a little bit of yellowing on this male. So let's see if we can get some Diablo Blanco super snows in the future. That might be cool. And this guy is going to be a killer next season. Pair him up with tons of females already. My mind's racing. Once again, check out Chad Ramsey's Reptiles. I'll leave a link in the description. And absolutely amazing unboxing. Everybody's trying to get out of the sun. But thank you guys. I'll update you with some pictures later. Hey guys, so I just got my um, leopard gecko shipment from Baba's Living Emporium. As you can see, the box is already open, but I didn't see what's inside yet. And look at it, it's so cute. <laughs> you put smiley faces everywhere. But yeah, I mean, honestly, the box is sturdy, so let's see what we have. Okay, so there's styrofoam in here, which is great. There's newspaper. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. I, th I got scared for a second. I was like, wait, my baby isn't supposed to be this small. <gasps> there she is. The female, female Diablo Blanco. Extremely delighted to have you as a customer. Oh, look at that. It's so sweet. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see her, but let me just try to carefully so she doesn't get more stressed out than she already is. I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. Let me just see if I can. Okay. Carefully. Oh my gosh. She's so precious. Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, I'm not gonna handle her just yet, but she is exactly as he told me she would be. Oh my god. <gasps> hey, you wanna come out? Let's see if she wants to come with my hands. No? <laughs> you don't wanna come with my hands? <laughs> I already have her um, tank set up and such, but honestly, she's she's looking really healthy. She's looking very healthy. Okay, I'm gonna set her down for a second. But look at the little, look at the little. <laughs> this is so adorable. A little leopard gecko buddy for her. Oh, she was trying to come out. Okay, all right, you wanna come out? You wanna come out? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so let's see that rest of her. So yeah, I think she was packaged very well. <laughs> this is the egg that she hatched from. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, David. This is so cool. Yeah, I think the rest of this, it was just being startled. Yeah, it was packaged very well. But the rest of that is just a newspaper. But honestly, she looks fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want to come out? Okay. Okay. I know. I know you're stressed out. Okay. I'm just going to put you back in the box. And then I'll just put her on her heated tank in a minute. But yeah, let me just show her really quickly. My newest addition to the family. Thank you so much at Baba's Living Emporium, David. <laughs> Alright guys, you guys saw the unboxing video from Ramsey's Reptiles. Thank you again, Chad. That was a great trade. 
Um, pleasure doing business with you and you guys also saw the unboxing video of one of our customers Jenny uh, thank you so very much for your business we always aim to meet and exceed expectations and I'm so glad we can do that for you um, up next we have the room tour and then we're gonna go straight into feeding videos and thank you guys for watching this far I hope you guys enjoy uh, the rest of it and if you guys want any ideas to on who we should have on the podcast um, comment or tag them below and um, any other video ideas you guys want to see uh, we'll go ahead and get that squared away for you thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of it all right guys check this out um, these are the new racks that I just built um, it's actually two racks they come apart they're stackable uh, California and we have earthquakes so I made it so they don't budge at all we have a couple of our new geckos in here giant snow Diablo Blanco um, this is just in preparation for all the babies growing out and then all the hatchlings growing up and then they're gonna go into here so this is like kind of our hatchling rack it's a boa file rack. We have uh, two morning gecko females that are laying eggs currently right now. And then we have the whole day gecko setup. And then if we go over here, we have a nice little aquascape tank. Did this myself way back when. It's kind of growing out of control. Got a couple of special plants in here, like the Nubius Nana White, the Boost Philandra. Um, we got some variegated boosts in the back. See if you guys can see that. Yeah, everything's kicking. We got some rainbow fish. Um, Sorry about that, y'all. It cut out a little bit. Uh, I think everything's just going on, so we're not going to try to focus on that. Put up some pictures um, when we get to that. Next, we have this little custom made incubator. Uh, we got the helix on there, the thermostat. Two computer fans, top and the bottom. Go ahead and open this up so you don't get that nasty reflection. Got eggs incubating everywhere. Um, take a look at these. These are a lot of our Pictus gecko eggs. Incubating a little funky, but yeah, it'll be cool. We got a ton of those things. And then we currently have 10 leopard gecko eggs going off we just had two hatch little exoterra with let's see if I could turn on this light some carnivorous plants once again I'll go ahead and open this up got some crazy stuff growing in there this is all like dwarf baby tier just growing rampant it's honestly just taking over this whole thing but it's cool I like it and we have our adult rack. Excuse me while I get away, take away my work boots. And then everything's pretty much full right there. That's our breeders. This is my stud male that I use for most of our projects that have hatched out thus far. This is a white and yellow tangerine uh, snow bold stripe bell. And then he's 50% head eclipse. So when you have all those genes into one animal and it's a male, you can take that to literally like 25 plus females pretty much every season. So great males hatching out. Let's go over here. This is shipping out. Oh, actually, we shipped that one already. A lot of these we just shipped out this week, so it's really messy. Alright guys, check out this new edition. See if it'll focus. This thing's really cool. It's an Antilles pink toe. Versi color. It's gonna be amazing adult. Um, I have some custom cages that are coming in and we'll get those squared away as soon as they come in. We'll do a build on those hopefully. 
See how you, you guys like those when we set them up and everything. That's everything for now. We have a couple species sitting in here. We have uh, central banded geckos, African fat tail geckos, pictus geckos, and then the hatchlings from the uh, leopard geckos. Let's get on to some feedings. Thank you.